Recently, you, or actually, I don't know if it was recently, but I know on your Facebook page, you have been doing live uh, painting sessions outdoors. Yes, we were. <laughs> I'm a little disappointed at myself right now. Why? <laughs> There's a, as you know, it takes a lot of planning to do, you know, even though it looks like <laughs> I would, I, you have it to does. Set up the lights, to set up the equipment, it's physical. Uh, it does you when you pay it. attention to it. Uh, it. Let's put it this yeah. way. The most amount of effort that I put into doing <laughs> video is when we were setting up to do this interview. It's probably the most that I, most of the time it's like, I'm going to turn my phone on. I have an idea and I should yeah, think it yeah. through, but I don't. So <laughs> you even, uh, well, and I see the umbrella behind, or uh, the parasol behind you. Uh, I know that you've, powerful. you've used that in it a lot. Like you'll start the video the by blocking. purple too. <laughs> so when did you decide to start doing those live, uh, those live video sessions, which I have, Actually, it, some of the people I've been talking to, they've, I've been noticing it more and more, which is a good thing. And I don't know if it's oh, because it's of awesome the, to hear. Yeah. It's awesome to hear. We were doing it for free, Kate and I, and it started with the pandemic, just like we lost our clientele. We lost our students. Everybody was kind of lost. Yeah. Um, so I just kind of said to her, let's just, say every Wednesday we're going to do a little hour tutorial or an inspirational thing just to keep people out of their own heads and help them deal with this kind of problem. Right. Because we've never experienced this before. Anybody can say, oh, I've had this, I have this, but to empathize with everyone's experience, mm -hmm. um, that's that's an arduous uh, task. So I didn't feel confident. I, I Not confident. I didn't feel it was right to charge at the moment when right. everything was happening. Like, hey, we're going to do Zoom classes. Mm -hmm. uh, you could pay this, that, and the other thing. Everyone was so confused and so lost as well as, uh, mostly the kids that we had in our class. So the only thing I can think of, what would it help alleviate the parents and the kids that are going through this that were involved within our own circle? Mm -hmm. uh, and I'm glad that it expanded. And I hope to do more. I want to do more. So I'm feeling a lot better. So Good. there will be more. Um, Kate's going to handle the Zoom classes. Uh, and, uh, she's been a great partner and a help. I'm glad that I've been able to mentor more people to do the same thing and just to give them another way of learning how to be, uh, a productive artist, mm -hmm. working artist, because there's so many aspects. I've evolved so many times. I've, I'm 52, so I started in the early 90s. I grew up in it. I was fortunate. Mm -hmm. But there's not enough information taught out there of how to be a working artist, productive artist. How do you go with the time? Mm -hmm. How do you evolve? How do you keep up with technology? How do you keep up with uh, marketing? Mm -hmm. Marketing when I was a student was paper flyers right you had to go hit the pavement right so the great thing i think now is the double-edged sword it's great but not great because I, I watched the documentary on netflix that they're watching this but the good thing is as far as like an artist is concerned it's like i don't have to hit the pavement right everyone that i've ever met is in my circle so I could just say hey this is what we're doing I can constantly remind you that we're doing this we're going to do that 